What's going on, Colts Nation? This is your man, Lawrence Owen, with Colts Law. Going to go over week nine. What the heck happened to the Indianapolis Colts offense? Who's to blame? Where's the problems? We got to figure this out. Not just us. We got Jeff Saturday, a new head coach. He's got to be looking at this film too, trying to figure out what the heck happened with our offense. Defense played great. Let's dive into it and see exactly who is to blame, where, when, why, and how. So on this first play, you're going to see Matt Judon fake up in here and then cut inside, get a sack, right, on Sam Ellinger. Let's take a look and see exactly what happens. All right. Oh, that's what that's terrible reaction right there by Matt Pryor. So as we watch this, Judon comes inside and then starts to fake it. Now, Pryor's got good position technically on his defensive tackle. You know, and, and Kelly's got his man right here. Let's watch. As he cuts back, Pryor is looking right here. He's got to see Judon coming. Pryor knows it's happening. What's he do? Or not Pryor, but I'm sorry. Smith sees what happens. He's going right towards the tackle. He's getting ready to push him into the side of Pryor. Pryor, at this point, has to recognize Judon is coming around, take his hands off, and push up for Judon, but he doesn't, he waits way too late right here, and Judon squeezes here between Pryor and Kelly, now at this point, you're kind of dead, you're, you, you, there, there, there's not a lot you could do, uh, you can't even dump it real fast over here to Mo Alley Cox, because let's face it, uh, you know, Look, you got all this right here in your way of your vision. You can barely see an arm. You don't even know if that's actually Mo Alley Cox. So he sees him coming. He takes off. It's two ladies wrapped up. He's tackled sack. Ow. Let's look and see if he couldn't have got rid of the football, right? Was there anybody open in that span of time in which Judon was coming at him and he got sacked? Let's take a look. Ah, that would have been really difficult. So, ball snapped, he stepped back, right? All right, so zero time, really, at this point. He's, he's just now setting his back foot looking, okay? You saw a specific player right here, right? The running back kicking out. At this point, it's first and ten, Okay? You can dump this football off. You see Judon coming in. You got to be able to see him. Dump it off. He's just throw it out here. Dump it off. All right. That's something that he definitely could have done right here. You you even got a guy over here. Now, granted, he's not looking in that direction. That's not part of his progressions. But he could have threw this out towards the sideline here and hope for a little uh, catch and run down the sideline. Maybe pick up five. You know, on this play right here. But he's definitely going to get at least five if he dumps it off. But he waits too long. And that's that. Now here's a play right here where he actually is afforded a little bit of time. Right? Let's, let's take a look see what happens. You can see uh, Paris right here crossing across the, the backside on a nice little uh, motion. Play action. Steps back. Looks. Still got plenty of protection right here. Running back stops, looks. He gets out. He cuts right between the tackle and the guard. Starts running out towards the flat. You see Paris Campbell again. Lots of speed. Lots of room to make to make a move. He's got Jelani Woods right here cutting out though. Safety coming deep. Let's look at this. That's a nice throw. That's a heck of a throw. He hits Jelani in the hands. It's a good throw right here. He had two very good options, as I said. Right? At this point, two great options between Paris and Jelani. Makes a really good throw right here. Could have been a big play if Jelani makes the catch. Let's look at it from the quarterback standpoint. All right, we can see as the ball is being hiked, he takes it. Good play action. Lots of room right here. As you see, it's an open sea. He can see all of this very, very well. 
The guys are blocking out far away. He doesn't look this way because the line is a little bit closer to him. He watches Jelani. He actually did a good job here. You see him looking this way. He's staring at the safety, freezing the safety. And then he looks off of him immediately and throws to the tight end. That is a great job by Sam Ellinger freezing the safety with his eyes. Then he throws the football down the field. What a pass. This is perfect. You know, right between two defenders, right here with room to catch the football and keep your uh, body in. And Jelani drops it. Ah, I hate saying it, but that one was all on Jelani Woods. Just, just, you know, didn't watch the ball into your hands. All right, here we got a run play. It was something else that was an absolute horrid fest, right, was the running game. You know, in order to get the passing game going, you got to get the running game going. That kind of helps, you know, set the tone of the game, maybe get some pressure off of your quarterback because in this game, let's face it, you know, there was a ton of pressure. The Colts did not get a single first down uh, on their own on third down conversions. They were uh, Sam Ellinger sacked nine times. This is awful. You got to be able to get this run game going. Here we got two running backs, and you know, Deion Jackson goes off in motion. Ball's hiked. We hand the football off. Now at this point, this looks pretty good. This looks pretty darn good. Now. You got Pryor got his defensive tackle. He needs to be, since he knows that this game this is going this way, I would have a little bit different set here. He sh when, when this ball is snapped, he does move to the left, right? He moves to the left, but he's not moving fast enough to the left. Keep an eye. Kelly does a good job getting upfield. He stops. And turns and starts to come upfield here. Look at the running back, Lindsey. If this tack, if this, if this block happens and Pryor was able to get inside, that's a monster hole for him to run through. But we play this a little bit slower. You see that tackle keeps getting inside. Inside. Now that hole's gone. Now, could he have possibly broke an arm tackle and hit that hole? Yes. Lindsey probably should have done that. Instead, he kicks it outside. Kicks it outside. And the problem is, look, you, you got a corner right here stopping him. Now, could he have cut ups here? If this corner wasn't here, he could have cut up. That's Mike Strawn behind him, ladies and gentlemen. The rookie. Dude's like 6'12 or something. He should be able to block out a little corner and hold that edge. If he does, this is a big run right here. You know, this this is actually something that should happen, but Mike was unable to hold his block. And then Lindsey gets tackled right near the line of scrimmage. It's just that's just bad all the way around. I, I think Lindsey should have cut up field. A little bit quicker, made a better decision. I think prior um, not being able to move side to side fast enough to be able to to seal that so that he could have that hole. Plus the fact that you know you got a rookie wide receiver who's big enough to make those plays, but he didn't do it. It's just bad all around. Hey guys, please smash that like button, hit subscribe. If you're not subscribed, and tag that notification bell so that you're notified next time I go live. Don't forget, you can also share this video to your favorite social media, and please open up that description of the video. In there, you find a link to my Patreon, which is only five bucks a month. You get all of my content, plus Patreon-specific content, and, of course, my merch shop right here. All right, we got another sack we're going to look at, and another stunt by Matt Judon prior. Ugh, this is terrible. We'll, we'll, we'll just watch it first. Ah. Ah. That's just ugly. All right. As it happens, Judon obviously comes out looking like he's going to come right at Smith, the right tackle, but cuts back inside. Now, as you saw, I just want to say something. Dion is standing here looking for protection. 
after this ball is snapped. Then he takes off heading to the outside because it looks like there's no pressure. Come on, Pryor. Look. Look at this. Look, you see him stop right here, and you see him doing this again. This is the second time this game you've seen this, all right? At this point, you need to use your arms, push off your defensive tackle, use your footing to basically launch yourself back and push him out to give it off to, to Smith because Smith is on the tackle now. Smith has the defensive tackle. He's ready to pass Judon off to you, my guy. You did not push off of him. You leaned into him more and then tried to stop Matt Judon on a sprinting stunt with your left arm. That's just awful. Matt, this is all on you, bro. All on you. But it still bears the question, could Sam Ellinger have gotten rid of the football to avoid this sack, right? That's the big question. So we're going to look at this. Keep an eye on the receivers. you got three out here, one and then one. Ball snap. Here it comes. You're looking. Is there anyone to throw the football to? Not yet. At this point, the only person, he's not, he's looking towards where he should be. Three guys. Three guys, right? And you can't really throw at the Pierce. You could right out here. But you got a corner ready to, to, to dive hard. Your best option is to dump it off to the running back. But he's not looking that way. He's looking over here. And now, it's too late because he's about to get cremated cremated the only problem with this play is Pierce was looking to run this way he's not running an out he's running an out and up right and out and up so you got literally everybody on this play running 10 or more yards except for the running back right everybody this is on the coach this is a bad play call this is a terror you need someone Crossing the middle of the field short as a hot route, okay? This is a bad play call, no matter where you're at on the field. Unless you're third down and long, which this play was not, you need to have a hot route. The running back's not a hot route. He's a dump route. That's different, okay? And the hot route needs to be in the vicinity of where... The quarterback is going to be looking in his first three progressions. So the hot route needs to be over here. This guy is too short. He's still 10 yards downfield. It's too too long. you got to have a hot route in these situations. And when you're running a little button hook, that's not a hot route, ladies and gentlemen. Not at all. All right, here we got another play. This time... Uh, Judon's on this side. This is Jawan Bentley over here. He's going to come in, do a little stunt. Not much of one, but a little bit. Uses. This is a, a, a very smart stunt play as the nose tackle is going to come this way to bring Kelly over. And as soon as Jawan kicks, you see now. Pryor now has him. Pryor now has him. Kelly needs to come off. Again. Needs to come off and push up. Now, as you see, Quentin Nelson was just sitting there waiting. He comes in and blasts him. This is a situation where you need a little bit of pocket awareness by number four. Okay? You need that pocket awareness. You see that coming. He's pump faking. At that point, you should have seen him coming around. The problem is, look, he's looking at the safeties. So he was kind of looking in that general vicinity. He's seeing because his eyes turn. He's not able to see 
the pressure and how the defensive line is working. And also, you know, Nelson's eyes. Keep an eye on Nelson's helmet when this ball is snapped. Left, right, left, right. He's doing what he's supposed to. He's looking left and right. He's keeping his head on a swivel. Granted, it was a little late, but he did what he was supposed to do. I'm not going to put this on Ellinger because these are big boys behind him. It's hard to see him coming around this edge. All right? That was a lot of big boys right there. A lot of big bodies. Right? Now, he should be able to see all this, but he's this little dude behind these three big dudes. And he don't see him appear again until, bam, right here. And he's in the middle of throwing motion. So I can't put this on him. But the question is, he's in the middle of throwing motion. Should he have thrown the football? So watching on this specific play, you see the setup. You got split receivers, two on either side and the running back. Ball snap. He steps up. It's a fake throw. This is tight. This is not a good throw. If he throws this, it's a good chance he could cut inside, maybe get a pick. You got another guy, the safety streaking down the sideline that he was looking at just a moment ago to try to, you know, bear him down. I'm thinking this was a pump fake. He's looking for downtown, downtown Bill right here, right? There just wasn't enough time. There just wasn't enough time for him to get rid of the football. At this point, everybody is covered on the field. Everybody is covered on the field because there was not enough time for him to get rid of the football. All he could do was take the sack here. All right, here's one of the few plays where Bernard Ryman actually plays really bad protecting that edge. Now, you're not going to win the edge every time. You're not going to win the edge every time. But here, Ryman does lose this. Watch as the edge rusher comes inside, dips his shoulder, does a good job, gets around. Now, that's the problem right here. Once you're beat, look. Watch his feet. He does. You see where his feet are all tight together? No, 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 no. That left foot needs to be out. You can never have, and I've said this a billion and a half times, never, ever, ever have your feet together. All right. This is actually bad footwork by Ryman. He should have had his legs out. That way he could step quicker and cover more ground at a faster rate. Because his feet are together, he's not able to step out fast enough to keep his position against the pass rusher. Pass rusher beats him with the dipped shoulder. And then, bam, he gets a hold of the quarterback. Well... Let's take a look and see what happens with the passing game. You know, see if he could have got rid of the football. Now, again, the edge rusher gets there in a hurry. Let's let's let's, let's do this. One, two, bam. Two seconds. Two seconds. Got there in two seconds. That's difficult for any receiver to get any kind of separation in two seconds. But let's keep an eye and look and see what happens here. This is actually an incredibly well-played play call here. You got Paris Campbell coming over the middle. You got a crosser right here um, with uh, Alec Pierce. You got a streak and you got an out and up. This is a good play call. Had he been able to step up or just had a half a second longer, you're probably able to either hit uh, Pierce right here as this receiver gets the safety and probably the safety might come up, but you definitely have Campbell. But it's too late because he gets sacked. Paris lets up because Paris is looking for the ball. Paris lets up immediately because he sees, oh crap, you know, my quarterback got hit. So he lets up. Alec Pierce, you had some room right here. You had some room right out here to throw to Alec. It's too late though. He's been hit. Ah, this is just this one right here. All on Ryman. All on Ryman. This right here might have been the most embarrassing play of the entire game for the Indianapolis Colts offense as we watch this actually go through. Let's let's take a look what happens. What what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What? 
Oh my goodness, that's an 18 yard sack. What the heck? Let's let's put this into a, a perspective. I mean, from this angle, he's got people to throw to. I mean, you got a man here. He's wide open. Yeah, that, that's a deep shot right now. You got a guy wide open here. You got a guy you can throw to short here. You got a guy you can throw to over here. You got a guy. What in the world is going on? He's got almost every one of his receivers he can throw to, including one that's a deep, deep shot. Instead, what's he do? He starts running like a chicken with his head cut off. It's like he has no idea. This is embarrassing. Let's look at this from the other perspective. All right. Uh, we'll get a good view of the pocket here, right? Let's... Here we go. Takes a snap. There's This is as clean a pocket as you could possibly have right here. You can't get a better pocket than this. This is beautiful. And then he decides to take off running for no reason. None. What is going on here? And And... He doesn't even keep his eyes upfield. Watch. Watch him. Oop. Ran right into a defender. Now I got to go the other way. Oh, I'm going to turn. His back is to the field. First off, this right here. No. No, no, no. How can you get rid of the football if your back is to the field? You never turn your body around. What is wrong with you? Come on, dude. Even my cat is upset about this. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. He goes through a whole four seconds where his back is to the field trying to run around. This is not good. Sam, you gotta have an understanding that even if you're scrambling, never have your back to the actual positive part of the field that you're trying to get rid of the football to. Because if it is, you're not going to throw it behind. Talk about a no-look pass. That's not possible. That kind of no-look pass does not happen. Patrick Mahomes can't make that kind of a no-look pass. All right, bro? All right. Thank you. Let's work on that. Hey, I appreciate you all. Please smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Tag that notification bell so that you are notified next time we go live or upload a video. I am obviously going to be dropping one of these every week to try to figure out what in the world is going right or going wrong for your Indianapolis Colts. Uh, make sure you check out the description of the video for any possible ways that you might be able to help uh, support this channel besides just hitting the like and sharing it. Uh, with the red share button here on YouTube. There's donation links, there's uh, news break, there's Patreon, and then of course, you know, donations and, and, and all sorts of stuff, including my merch shop. So I appreciate you. Thanks so much for your support. And until next time, I'm Lawrence Owen. This is Colts Law. And as usual, have a good one.